guys, how's it going? RxX Gaming and XXR here, back with another video. And today, we're doing a tutorial. I know we haven't done a tutorial for a while, but yeah, we're gonna be doing a tutorial today, and we're doing we're gonna be doing a Cinema 4D tutorial. So, I have Cinema 4D R13. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if it really matters, but there might be a diff different changes in like the different program in like the different versions. But yeah, you're obviously gonna need Cinema 4D for this. The, you know, so I'm gonna be working with today. I'm gonna be working with like text and like colors, changing the colors. I'm not gonna get too in deep, like, um, on like effects and stuff because I'm not a pro with this cinema for yet. I'm just, I'm still kind of learning, but yeah, I thought I'd teach you guys what I know, and so yeah, so you guys can learn a bit more about cinema 40. So, pretty much like. I didn't show, so like you can change your color throughout parts of yeah. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with what I'm gonna teach you. So first up, we're gonna start with the text. So you're gonna go up to MoGraph, and you're gonna wanna go into Mo Text or Mo or Mo. I'm not really sure. Whatever you guys say, it doesn't actually matter at all. So just open up Mo Text. It's going to bring you up with this text. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to um, let's just put it to tutorial because we're doing a tutorial. So. Now you can uh, put it on the screen wherever you like it, and now you can edit like the uh, subdivision, add like a hundred. That uh, looks pretty cool, you know. You can edit a bunch of stuff. You can change the depth. I usually just keep the depth thirty or twenty around that, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it at, around this. You can um, change the font to to whatever you want. There's a bunch of different fonts you can choose. You can align it to wherever you want. You can go left, middle, right. I usually just keep it at the left because I like to keep it at the left. But yeah, you know. So yeah. So you can align it to wherever you want. And uh, you can change the height of it. You can actually zoom in by scrolling. So you can like zoom all the way out or zoom all the way in, you know? Whatever you want to do. So yeah. You can make it bigger or smaller by dragging it. Uh, you can change the angle, you can do a whole bunch of stuff in this. It's um nothing too crazy, but yeah, you can do a whole bunch of stuff in this. So, um let's get a bit more into uh this. Let's uh let us change the color now. So this part is actually pretty easy. And it seems like it would be really hard, but it's actually pretty easy. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into this little corner to the left to the left corner and click create and then click new material. So we're just gonna do this twice. Because you have to do it twice if you want to outline. So, first color, we'll just make it black. So, whatever color you want, let's say we want red, you're just going to put the red up and then the two green and blue down. So, okay. since we want black, we're just going to put it all down into here to the black color. Now, we'll change this one to red. So, I want red. I'm going to keep it like up here, wherever lead red I want or shade of red I want. Bring these two down here. Now, you can change to red. Like, you can have darker red. And you can like change all the colors like that. So, yeah. Now, how to apply the text to the actual like yeah how to actually apply it the color to the text you just grab it and drag it onto the text yeah it's that simple so now let's say you want to like add you don't just want a plain red text you want to add like a like a like a you know a cool like um outline to it like black so whatever your other color is that it's matte dot one whatever that color is is um what it's going to be an outline so maybe you want like a green outline you change that to green so yeah so whatever so whenever you uh drag it on you're gonna see the screen that pops up, and it's gonna be a basic tag. So you're gonna, we're gonna put it on tag. Go to selection. Now let's say you want the black outline or whatever outline it is. You're just gonna click. You're gonna put um, capital C and then one, and just hit enter. Or, yeah. So yeah, you can just kind of mess around with it. You can throw the colors on, and then you know, C capital C one. There, now I have the black, the red background, I can do this, I can go C1, I don't know, I, just, I guess not, I'm not sure why it's not working right now with red, it's got a bit glitchy, but, you know, so let's just C1, there we go, so, now I have the black with the red outline, that actually looks um, pretty cool, so yeah, that's how you do that, so now we've changed the color and everything, so now let's say you guys want to, like, change color at different frames, so, let's say at 5 frames, I wanted to change the color, the background, or the black to green, let's just say, so, what you're going to want to do is put it to 5 frames, 5 frames, and then what you're going to do is right click on whatever color you want to change, and go up to edit, now you're going to change the color to whatever you want, so let's say I want, like, green, 
but really light green, let's like that. So now, so you got the green, now what you're going to want to do is hit control, and then just click, left click color. And then, now we're going to play it back. So, so, I think you have to go a bit longer, I don't think it would work, let's try 30 frames. At 30 frames, I want it to be blue. Let's make it that. So, control, color. So now, let's go back to the beginning, see it starts off green, we're going to play it back. And there, now it switches to blue. So yeah, you can do the same thing again. 70. Let's see, one at 70 frames. Let's change it to red. Um, control. Left click color, and there we go. Now you're gonna play it back. So start off. Starts off with green. Changes to blue, and then it is going to change back to its original red color. So yeah. That's how you can do that. That's actually pretty simple. You guys probably thought it was like a lot more difficult to do that. Okay, so now getting in a bit like deeper with how to like okay, so like how to place your text on the screen. Like in, if you're actually making an intro, maybe you want in, like your text to move around, and go crazy and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to do that. So let's say you want your text to start down here. So you guys put it down here, put it wherever you want to start it. Put it to your liking. Make sure the bar is at where it is. So yeah. you're gonna want to click on the text and click this little key. Now play it back to wherever, like, let's say I want to go 23 frames, I want it to move over here into 23 frames. So you can make it go faster or slower, so like, let's say you put it to 5 frames, it would go like pretty quickly, put it to 23 frames, it's going to go a bit slower than that, so yeah. Now you're going to click the key again, and it's going to make this little black line. Now, if we play it back, it's going to move. Simple as that, it's as simple as that. Now, let's do the exact same thing, at 67 seconds, we want to, to um move down here, just click, and boom, there we go, uh, 81 seconds, you want it to move up here, just click the key again, and boom, now we got it, so play it back from the beginning, and boom, there we go, so you can make it faster, um, shorter, like really quickly, you know, you can do all that stuff, cool stuff with the text, so, yeah, there we go, so now we kind of have like a changing a color changing text and it's moving all around your screen and it just looks all cool and stuff um so yeah that's uh pretty much what it's gonna what i'm, I'm just gonna be teaching you those basic stuff i'm not gonna get too deep into like effects and stuff and how to like make explosion effects because i'm not too i'm not too advanced i'm just still learning cinema 4d and i just thought that i'd make a tutorial with what i know to teach you guys a bit more if you guys are just beginners so yeah uh, click out of that and there you go it says tutorial gonna be moving all around your screen it's gonna look all cool and stuff it's gonna yeah so now you can um trailer here let's get uh as slow as that so yeah there you go now you have your finished um text your finished intro whatever add music to it now a uh, really important part before you render it out or anything you want to go to your rendering settings by clicking that last thing or the last render on the render like you know and then you want to go down to save make sure it's check marked you want to save it, make sure it's saved file wherever. So let's say I want to save it to my desktop. I'm going to just name it. Let's just name it new intro. Let's say because it's, maybe it's going to be new intro. And then I'll just click the save. Oops. So desktop save. Oops. Okay, I guess I already answered that. So let's just go new. Space, space, space. Save. Okay, so now it's going to be saved to your desktop. See, yeah, so it's going to be saved. Now you can change your format to whatever. Maybe want like an AVI movie. Change to AVI movie. Um, now it's important that if you change the AVI movie that you click options. It's important that you make sure that the Intel that the compressor is Intel IV UV codec. I'm not sure if that's absolutely needed. I've never really tried anything else, but um, that's just what um, I've learned to use. That's what I recommend probably. And you can just mess around with a whole bunch of stuff. Your output. You can like change the preset to whatever you want. Let's say you want like screen. You want it to be like 20. 250, 60, 2560 by 1600. Um, you can just click that and it would uh, change the preset. So, you know, you can mess around with all this stuff. Um, you can um, frame frame range. You do all frames, that's what you should do. So, 0 to 90 because I have 90 frames. So, yeah. Um, if you want like your whole video to be played out, then you want to pick all frames. So, yeah. Okay, so that. Now you just uh, click the middle one in the middle, and you'd render it out. Wait for it to render. Depending on the um, how long it is, it's gonna take a bit longer. But yeah, so um, depending on how many like um, you know how many 
yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, that's how you would make, like, um, an intro type thing. Um, and it wasn't really, like, an intro intro, but I mean, like, uh, we just kind of turned you guys basics. So, you guys could, like, get effects on that. You could add music into that. You could, um, add a whole bunch of stuff into that. That's just pretty much the basics, how you, so, and how you, like, get, so yeah, that's going to be saved, uh, as new. It's going to be called new under, um, my desktop, and I could view it after this, so... Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to um, ren render. Hold on. Um, I just wanted to prove it, show you guys that it does actually save and it'll play back as an actual video. Hold on. So, anyway, guys, before this renders out and everything, if you guys did enjoy the video, if it helped you out or anything, or if you just thought it was cool, leave a like below. Um, I will we'll upload it probably. I'll probably upload another tutorial on how you can crack and get cinema. 4D for free. Um, I'll probably do that sometime soon. Um, we'll be having some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Actually, I'm going to start doing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the PC, actually, so that's going to be something that we're going to do. So, yeah. Once it's uh, done rendering, it's going to open up on your desktop, and um, you can just view it. And there we go. So, now we got it. It's going to move forward and up, and boom, there you go. Um, maybe if the screen isn't Big enough won't pick up all the intro. It might go back a little bit. That's why you have to change your presets to what you're liking. This would probably work better on like a seven, you know. But there we go. So now we got our intro. We can put this on YouTube and stuff. It's in, um, yeah. So we're gonna put this on. Now we're gonna put this up stuff in my videos. Not actually because it's not really an intro. It's just kind of like a cool little thing. But whatever. So yeah, you guys know. So. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. This is just kind of like the basics, text and stuff, you know? Um, yeah. Peace out, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.